You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today attended the lunch banquet hosted by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland, at Windsor Palace, marking His Majesty the King's attendance of the Royal Windsor Horse Show 2022. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth exchanged cordial talks on the solid, deep-rooted relations between the royal families and the two friendly kingdoms. They also reviewed the long-standing, strong Bahraini-UK relations, which are growing steadily in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan following his election as President of the United Arab Emirates. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations to the President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, for the precious trust bestowed upon him by the members of the UAE Federal Supreme Council. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect the UAE President and bless him with abundant health and wellness so as to be able to carry on the progress march witnessed by the UAE, achieve the aspirations of the brotherly UAE people for more development and prosperity, as well as serve the Joint Gulf Cooperation Council and Arab Action. His Majesty the King also affirmed the depth of the deep-rooted, distinguished Bahraini-UAE relations, stressing the Kingdom's keenness to continue strengthening bilateral ties and cooperation for the best interests of the two brotherly people. At an order by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain has mourned the late President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Kingdom paid homage to the late UAE President, who passed away after a life rich in achievements to serve the UAE people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. It extended sincere condolences to the Al Nahyan family and the UAE people, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the deceased with mercy and rest his soul in peace. At the order of His Majesty the King, an official three-day mourning was declared, during which flags in the Kingdom will be lowered at half-mast. His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan following his election as the President of the United Arab Emirates. His Royal Highness congratulated His Highness the President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed for the trust bestowed upon him by the members of the UAE's Federal Supreme Council. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed success in carrying out his duties, including furthering the UAE development and in achieving the aspirations of the UAE citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed that the long standing Bahraini UAE relationship are based on solid ties between the two countries' leaderships and people, stressing the Kingdom's commitment to continue enhancing bilateral relations at all levels. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived today in the United Arab Emirates to extend his condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following the passing of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness also extended his condolences to senior members of the Al Nahyan royal family, noting that his thoughts and prayers are with them at this time. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad also wished the UAE continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of its president, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness recalled the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan in bolstering Arab and Islamic cooperation and his active role as a statesman in furthering the UAE's comprehensive development. His Royal Highness the Deputy King also noted His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's commitment to further advancing the Bahraini UAE partnership. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan expressed his sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Deputy King and the accompanying delegation for their heartfelt condolences and sympathy. His Royal Highness the Deputy King was accompanied by a number of senior officials. In line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to perform the absentee funeral prayer for the late UAE President, mosques across Bahrain held the Salat Al Ghaib for His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council has earlier directed all Imams of mosques in the Kingdom of Bahrain to perform the prayer after Al Dhuhr or Noon prayer today. The Sunni Endowments Council chairman and all affiliates of the Sunni Endowments Directorate extended sincere condolences to the brotherly UAE government and people over the demise of late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with mercy and provide his family and the UAE people with patience and consolations. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and his elder brothers performed the funeral prayer for the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan at the Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed, the first mosque in the Al Batain area in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. Later, the burial ceremony of the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan took place at Al Batain Cemetery.
Upon the order of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the absentee funeral prayer, Salat Al Ghaib, for the late UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, was performed at the Grand Mosque in Mecca and the Prophet's Mosque in Medina following Maghrib prayers. Funeral prayers were held across mosques on Friday evening. Citizens and residents came together to observe the prayers, which were held after Maghrib. Worshippers prayed to Almighty Allah to have mercy on the late UAE President's soul and reward him with the best reward for the great deeds he did for his homeland and the Islamic and Arab nations. In a statement issued by the Saudi royal court, King Salman and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman expressed their heartfelt condolences to the UAE leadership, government and people on the great loss and prayed to Allah Almighty to grant His Highness Sheikh Khalifa eternal peace and his family in the UAE people patience and solace. Sheikh Khalifa passed away on Friday, May the 13th. He was 73 years old. Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed al ramihi has extended deepest condolences to the United Arab Emirates following the demise of the late President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan. In statements to Sky News Arabia Television, the minister extended sincere condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum. UAE rulers and the brothers and family of the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed. The minister indicated that the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed had assumed the leadership of the success story of his country after the demise of the UAE founder, the late His Highness Sheikh Zayed. He highlighted the late president's initiatives aimed at improving the quality of life in the UAE in line with his interests in the environment, food security, humanitarian work and education, citing the launch of the Khalifa International Award for Date Palm and Agriculture Innovation, the Khalifa bin Zayed Award for Humanitarian Work and the Khalifa Award for education. Aramehe also asserted that during the reign of the late president, the UAE adopted a policy based on sciences and technology, placing the country at the forefront of Arab and Islamic countries in this sector. Concluding his statements, the information minister affirmed that during the era of the late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, the UAE has adopted an approach of goodness, tolerance and peace as reflected in its foreign policy, noting that the whole world is confident that the UAE's goodness march will continue. The Information Affairs Minister also made a statement to Al Arabiya News Network in which he stressed the importance of the distinguished long-standing Bahraini-UAE ties, noting that relations between the rulers and people of the two brotherly countries span hundreds of years. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE are one country, noting that relations between the two brotherly countries have always been and are still based on peace, goodness and tolerance. He also highlighted their keenness to support the march of the GCC in order to serve the aspirations of its countries and people. Meanwhile, the Information Affairs Minister also made a statement to the Al Arabiya News Network in which he stressed the importance of the distinguished long-standing Bahraini-UAE ties, noting that the relations between the rulers and people of the two brother countries span hundreds of years. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE are one country, noting that relations between the two brother countries have always been and are still based on peace, goodness and tolerance. He also highlighted their keenness to support the march of the GCC in order to serve the aspirations of its countries and people. Headed by Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Federal Supreme Council held a meeting at Al Mushraf Palace in Abu Dhabi, where the Council unanimously elected His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan as President of the United Arab Emirates, succeeding the late Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Council prayed to God Almighty to grant His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed success and direct his steps in the service of his country and the people of the United Arab Emirates. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed expressed his appreciation for the trust placed in him by his brothers. Their Highnesses, the Sheikhs, members of the Supreme Council of the Union and the rulers of the Emirates praying to Allah Almighty to guide and help him to bear the responsibility of the great trust to fulfill its right in serving his country and the people of the UAE. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan is the second president of the United Arab Emirates and the 16th ruler of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, the largest of the seven emirates which comprise the United Arab Emirates. Born in 1948 in the eastern region of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Khalifa is the eldest son of Sheikh Zayed. After his father's passing and his accession to the rule of president of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa launched an initiative to evolve the nomination system for members of the Federal National Council. When Sheikh Khalifa succeeded his father in November of 2004, first as ruler of Abu Dhabi and shortly after after that, as president of the UAE, the nation's role on the international stage naturally demanded more of his attention. From his earliest days in office, Sheikh Khalifa maintained close links with the citizens, winning their trust and affection. That bond was further celebrated a year later with the 40th anniversary of the nation's founding and the slogan, Kullana Khalifa, We Are All Khalifa. 
Emiratization was another of Sheikh Khalifa's passions. His belief that the future welfare of the country and its people depended on equipping Emiratis with the intellectual and practical tools they would need. This strategy lay at the heart of many of his government's initiatives. From Masdar to nuclear energy, adventures in which Emiratis are encouraged to participate through numerous scholarships and training programs. Above all, Sheikh Khalifa understood implicitly the importance of the social contract between the ruling family and the people and sought always to find ways of honoring and developing it. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, held official talks with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Hellenic Republic, Nikos Dendias, during his official visit to Greece. They reviewed the strong historical friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Hellenic Republic and the growth and development they are witnessing at all levels within a framework of mutual respect and a common desire to enhance and develop bilateral cooperation in various political, economic and investment fields for the benefit of the two friendly countries and people. The two sides also discussed regional, international, political and security developments and their repercussions on security, peace and stability in the Middle East and Europe. Following the discussion session, the two ministers held a press conference in which they reviewed what has been discussed in the session. The Minister of Foreign Affairs commended the depth of the close historic friendships and constructive cooperation between the two friendly countries and the growth and development they are witnessing in various fields and at all levels in light of the mutual keenness of the two wise leaderships of the two countries to enhance cooperation and open up new horizons for consolidating and developing bilateral relations and achieving shared interests. He added that he held an important and fruitful discussion session with his Greek counterpart during which they reviewed the distinguished friendly relations between the two countries and stressed the need to continue joint efforts to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields, increase joint consultation and coordination, and exploit opportunities and capabilities available to increase joint cooperation to achieve the goals and aspirations of the two friendly countries. He further underlined that the two sides stressed the importance of developing bilateral relations in all economic, commercial, investment, cultural, tourism, technology, and environmental fields, and the need to take advantage of the attractive climate for investment in both countries, as well as expand areas of trade exchange and strengthen partnerships. He added that they had discussed enhancing cooperation in the field of diplomatic training through the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Greek Diplomatic Academy. The Minister of Foreign Affairs underscored that both sides had discussed the latest regional and international developments, including issues related to conflicts in the Middle East, the Eastern Mediterranean, and the European continent, and stressed the need to end all disputes and conflicts through dialogue and diplomatic means to prevail peace, security, and stability for the benefit of all people within the framework of the principles of the United Nations Charter and noble human values. He added that both sides had discussed the development of the war in Ukraine and its repercussions on the stability and security of the European continent and international peace and security and stressed the need to reach a comprehensive and lasting peaceful settlement of the conflict through negotiations and diplomatic methods and in accordance with the principles of the Charter of the United Nations to preserve peace and security on the European continent and the world. He added that both sides further stressed the need to open safe corridors doors for civilians and provide them with protection and to deliver humanitarian and relief aid to refugees and displaced persons. He also added that they had underlined the importance of international cooperation to confront all challenges that threaten international peace and security, including weapons of mass destruction, terrorism, extremist ideologies and cyber crimes. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Greece welcomed a visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs commending the advanced level of the bilateral relations and the official visits between the two friendly countries. He further praised the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its pioneering role in building and extending bridges of cooperation between Europe and the Middle East, namely in the GCC. He stressed a similar Bahraini Greek visions towards common principles and values such as respect for international law and condemnation of the use of all forms of violence and force in international relations, noting the agreement on mutual support for the nominations for the United Nations Human Rights Council as a combination of distinguished friendship relations. Nikos Dendias also expressed the aspirations of Kyriakos Mistokes, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Greece, to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain to build on the level of existing cooperation between the two friendly countries and sign a number of agreements in the economic and commercial fields, renewable energy, tourism, digital governance and the financial sector.